Deadpool. To most people, that's a Marvel movie anti-hero. But when it comes to Lake Mead, Deadpool means we've hit the bottom of the basin. Anchor Paulina Butska has the story of the Deadpool factor and why scientists are on alert. Paulina. Since I've started doing these stories on the lowering lake levels at Lake Mead, a term that I heard a lot was Deadpool. And no, we are not talking about the movie. We're talking about what happens to Hoover Dam when the lowering lake levels get too low. Deadpool in any reservoir essentially refers to the elevation at which the dam can no longer release water downstream. At Hoover Dam, which supplies water to Lake Mead, the number 895 is the critically low lake level where Deadpool occurs. Today, our lake levels stand at 1047, something Colby Pellegrino with the Southern Nevada Water Authority says is still a ways away but could happen in our lifetime. We have been planning for Lake Mead's levels to drop for a significant period of time. That's why we invested $1.3 billion in our third intake and low lake level pumping stations. We designed our pumping station so that there's still water over the top of our pumps should we ever hit Deadpool. We will physically be able to deliver water into this community. Pellegrino's team here in Southern Nevada and the leaders of the six other Western states and Mexico, which all get their water from the Colorado River, are working to avoid Deadpool from ever becoming a possibility. Nevada can't change the river's destiny on its own. Um, you could completely wipe Nevada off the map and the river would still have all the problems that it has today. So how do we get here? The Colorado River supplies 40 million people in the U.S. But the problem is 2021 and 2022 have been the driest years on record in this decades long drought. As the Colorado River declines, so do the lake levels at Lake Mead and Lake Powell. The Hoover Dam has two main functions, to stop flooding and to store and supply water. Pellegrino says everyone must be part of the solution. We're looking at every single year what the next best evolution of our water conservation policy is. I think there's still a lot of low hanging fruit in this community in terms of reducing our water use. Reporting in Las Vegas, I'm Paulina Butska.